This fishing video is about a trip we took to Tutka Bay Lagoon. Tutka Bay Lagoon is about 15 miles from Homer. Uh, you can see on the map here, uh, we launch our boat at Homer at the harbor, and then we cross Kachemak Bay, go into Tutka Bay, and then go into the uh, lagoon. And the neat thing about the lagoon is it's a fish hatchery. So there's lots of salmon returning there this time of year in um, July and August. It's loaded with salmon, sockeye and pink salmon. There's so many salmon, it's not even considered sporting, I don't think, you just pull them out of the water. So uh, come with us on the trip and enjoy the ride. Oh, hey, Tom. Hey. <laughs> Doesn't look like the same boat. No. <laughs> this is a whole different experience. Yeah, we decided to downsize, get rid of the big one, get something cheaper. Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, I guess not. It's still out there in the parking lot. Oh. We're gonna get tr we're gonna go snagging at Tucka Bay. Yeah. It's always a little bit of a struggle to get the big one in there. At, or it's not if it's at high tide, at the top of high tide. But I'm always worried about getting stuck. Well, that sandbar in there probably moves around a hair. Well, this boat should yeah. scoot right over it. This needs about two inches. A uh, four, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's how fast you're going. You can, you can actually travel across zero water. <laughs> For a while. Yeah. They run out of momentum. Yeah, I hope so. there's a puddle on the other side. <laughs> Almost looks like Prince William Sound. Yeah, it looks great. There's a drill. Now we are all ready to launch. Yeah, jump in and just... Can I just give you a turn? It's been a while since I drove something this small out through here. I feel like I'm on a motorcycle or something. I know. See, I have the, uh, I have the oar just in case you can't steer. <laughs> that's, that's a good idea. Yes. Do we have two oars? No, just one. Oh, just one. Yeah, oh, no. Let's run too, because especially with a younger crowd, they start get wound up when there's fish on, and then their hooks flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah, these are. Oh man! Oh, there they caught one. Oh, I got one. All right, bring it in. Where's the net? Right behind you. Keep track of how many you caught. Good job, Desi. Is there a crab rod now? Um, wait, do you can I help you over here? Huh? Can I help you fish over here? Oh, sure. Alright. Dad, we got a lot of fish! Look, and I'll take the fishing rod here as well.
I don't think much happens around here. So. Good run. Desi just reeled in that fish, which isn't much of an accomplishment here. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, get him in the tank. Everybody else seems to be catching fish briskly. In the main channel, I'm gonna get a little bit of feed on it underwater going. The fun stops when you get home, right? Yeah, that's when it... <laughs> Or is that when it starts? <laughs> well, kind of like when you shoot a moose and then the, then the work begins or something. R the, the, yeah, the fun's over when you pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Not completely. I enjoy this part too. Yeah. It's a nice boat. It's nice to clean it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's worth cleaning, I think. It really is. It really it did really well. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. We have more videos coming out. Most of our videos are about fishing in Alaska and the saltwater. We do a few other things as well, sometimes with snowmobiles. So feel free to subscribe and be alerted when new videos come out. Thanks a lot for watching.